Aluminium is one of the most widely used metals in the world. It is obtained from a rock called bauxite, and we find it daily in thousands of objects, from soft drink cans, computers and household appliances, to phone chargers and food containers. Every year, more than 60 million tons of aluminium are produced worldwide. To produce this enormous amount of aluminium, it is necessary to extract more than 200 million tons of bauxite. But how is it extracted? How does a simple reddish rock become that silvery, shiny material we use every day? Well, today we will travel to Australia, home of the mine that produces the most aluminium on the planet. Here we will see how giant drills extract this valuable rock from the depths of the earth, and how, through advanced chemical and electrical processes, bauxite is converted into pure aluminium, ready to be used in the manufacture of countless products. Step number one, bauxite extraction. It all begins in the depths of the earth, where an essential mineral is hidden, bauxite. This material is the key to manufacturing the aluminium we find in airplanes, cars, cans, and even our phones. But how is it extracted? The process is impressive. To reach the bauxite deposits, huge industrial drills break through the rock, digging up to 50 meters deep. And here comes the amazing thing. Those holes are filled with explosives, ready to release the bauxite that is trapped inside. The explosive charges are placed precisely and then sealed with gravel to ensure that the explosion is concentrated in the right place. And when the explosives detonate, the energy is so intense that it fragments the giant rocks into much smaller and easier to handle pieces. Imagine witnessing one of these impressive explosions and seeing how in a matter of seconds, a mountain is reduced to small rocks it would be simply shocking. Once the rocks have been fragmented, giant excavators load the fragments onto trucks capable of transporting tons of ore. These trucks, almost the size of a building, head to the processing plant, where the ore is piled into giant mountains of bauxite. Did you know that up to 5,000 tons of bauxite can be extracted from a single mine per day? With that amount of ore, we would have enough to produce tons of aluminium. And with all this material piled up at the processing plant, it's time to see how its fascinating transformation begins. Let's see it. Step number two, crushing and chemical processing. Now that we have tons of bauxite at the plant, it's time to crush the rocks. For this, huge crushers are used that tear the bauxite into even smaller fragments. This is where the chemical part of the process comes into play, but don't worry. Even if you're not a chemistry expert, you'll understand it perfectly. The crushed bauxite, which is still mixed with gravel and other rock debris, is mixed with caustic soda, a chemical compound that facilitates the extraction of aluminium. This powerful chemical is responsible for dissolving most of the rock, releasing the key component, aluminium oxide. This process must be carried out with extreme caution, as caustic soda is so powerful that it could make a piece of metal disappear in a matter of seconds if not handled properly. The operators who work in this process must be equipped with special suits, protective glasses, and resistant gloves, as any failure could be very dangerous. Contact with caustic soda can cause serious burns, so safety is an absolute priority. This process is carried out in huge pressure tanks, where the mixture is subjected to high temperatures to accelerate the chemical reaction. The result is a liquid substance loaded with aluminium oxide, ready for the next step. Of every four tons of bauxite extracted, only two tons become pure aluminium oxide. After this treatment, the liquid goes through a filtering process, removing impurities and leaving only the precious aluminium oxide. However, this oxide still needs to be refined to achieve the necessary purity in the manufacture of aluminium. Let's see it. Step number three, refining and separation of aluminium oxide. Once the bauxite has been treated with caustic soda, it is time to further purify the aluminium oxide that we have released from the impurities. This process is carried out using the Bayer process, which is key to obtaining a material of the highest possible purity. In gigantic pressure tanks, the mixture of bauxite and caustic soda is subjected to extremely high temperatures, around 200 degrees Celsius and even higher pressure. This intensive treatment separates the aluminium oxide from the unwanted residues. While in the previous stage the aluminium oxide was released, now it is refined to its maximum purity, eliminating any trace of remaining impurities. Afterwards, the resulting material goes through meticulous filtering again to remove all remaining residues. 
the final result is a white powder of pure aluminium oxide, ready to be used in the production of aluminium. This powder has a characteristic color due to its high purity, and it is what will allow the creation of the metal that we use in so many daily applications. In the buyer process, enormous amounts of energy are used, and in some plants, up to 20,000 tons of bauxite are used per day to produce aluminium. That's enough to make millions of beverage cans a year. With the aluminium oxide completely refined, let's see how it is transformed into aluminium. Step number four, electrolysis. With the aluminium oxide completely refined, the time has come to transform it into the metallic aluminium that we know and use in countless applications. To achieve this, we enter the electrolysis phase, the process that makes it possible for the aluminium oxide to become pure aluminium. This method is impressive. A huge tank called an electrolytic cell is used, which is filled with a conductive liquid at extremely high temperatures. This is where the magic happens. For the process to be viable on an industrial level, molten cryolite is added, a compound that reduces the melting temperature of aluminium oxide, allowing electrolysis to occur with lower energy consumption. Inside this tank, the aluminium oxide is placed, and a very powerful electric current is applied through it. The electricity separates the aluminium from the oxygen. The metallic aluminium, being heavier, sinks to the bottom of the tank in the form of molten metal, while the oxygen is released in the form of gas. After several hours of electrolysis, the molten aluminium is extracted from the bottom of the tank and transferred to special molds, where its cooling and solidification process will begin. To manufacture aluminium, a single plant can consume as much electricity as an entire city for a day. It's a colossal energy demand. But before this metal reaches the market, it needs to solidify and take shape in the next phase of the process. Let's see it. Step number five, molding and cooling. Once the aluminium has gone through the electrolysis process, what is obtained is molten metal, which must be cooled and molded into useful shapes for later use. When the aluminium comes out of the electrolysis process, it is at more than 950 degrees Celsius, so it needs to be cooled in a controlled way to avoid defects. This molten aluminium is poured into huge metal molds and allowed to cool slowly until it solidifies. After several hours of controlled cooling, the aluminium solidifies completely and the ingots now look impeccable with a perfect and uniform shape. These ingots will be essential to manufacture many of the products that surround us. The cooling process is critical because it ensures that the aluminium does not crack or lose strength. If cooling is not handled properly, the material can become brittle, which would affect its quality. Once cooled and checked, these ingots are passed to the press where they are transformed into sheets or shapes that can be used in a wide variety of applications. After this process, the aluminium is carefully checked to ensure that it meets all quality standards. Let's see how they do it. Step number six, quality control. Now that the aluminium is in its final form, it's time to make sure everything is perfect. Quality control is a fundamental step in aluminium manufacturing as it ensures that each ingot meets the highest standards. Resistance and purity tests are carried out, in addition to a visual inspection to detect imperfections. To detect defects invisible to the naked eye, laser scanners and ultrasonic tests are used, which identify microscopic cracks in the metal structure. Quality experts analyze any imperfection, however small, and verify that each piece of aluminium is perfect to be used in a variety of products. Aluminium must have the appropriate resistance to be used in everything from electronic products to vehicle manufacturing. The quality control process ensures that the material is reliable and durable. As a curious fact, did you know that recycled aluminium maintains the same properties as new aluminium? It's impressive how this material can be reused over and over again without losing its quality. With everything verified and approved, the aluminium ingots are ready to be shipped and used in the manufacture of products around the world. Step number seven, distribution and shipping. Once the aluminum has passed all quality tests, it is ready to be distributed. The aluminum ingots are carefully packaged and shipped to companies and factories around the world. These ingots are the starting point for an amazing variety of products, from electronic components to food packaging and parts for the aerospace industry. Every year, more than 60 million tons of aluminum are transported, enough to manufacture millions of vehicles, buildings, and everyday objects. 
The ingots are sent to different factories, where they will be transformed according to the final product. The distribution process is fast and precise, since the aluminum must be transported to its destination without suffering damage. The ingots travel by trucks, maritime containers, and even by plane, ensuring that they arrive safely and on time. And this is how a simple rock like bauxite becomes metallic aluminum, ready to shape the products we use every day. The journey of aluminum is fascinating, from the heart of the earth to the most innovative objects in the modern world. To finish, tell us, were you surprised by everything that aluminum manufacturing involves? In what products do you use it daily? Leave us your answer in the comments, and if this video surprised you, don't forget to like it and subscribe to discover more about these fascinating manufacturing processes.